When you hear extreme couponing, you think of getting dozens of copies of the Sunday paper, having a three to four inch binder filled with coupons, going to the store and taking advantage of their double coupons and using dozens upon dozens upon dozens of coupons to drive your bill down. This is what we saw on the TLC show Extreme Couponing and what people have really done for years. Um, obviously more dramatized on the show, but that's kind of the principle that we've done for years with Extreme Couponing. And that's what people think of when they hear about Extreme Couponing. But I'm going to be real. This ain't happening in 2023. Most stores stop doubling coupons. Most coupons now have limits of them as like one or two light coupons. There are fewer paper coupons now. Stores have different rules on coupons. The extreme couponing that you saw on the TLC show doesn't exist. Um, the extreme couponing that we kind of think about doesn't exist in 2023. So you might be thinking, why am I watching this video then if we can't extreme coupon? Well, I'm gonna tell you, I can personally attest to the fact that extreme couponing is alive and well in 2023. And in some ways it's actually easier than ever. Gone are the days of spending hours clipping and organizing coupons in your binder, holding up the line with stacks of coupons, dealing with anger cashiers is not wanting to deal with your coupons. Let me teach you how you can extreme coupon and save big money for you and your family in 2023. <laughs> Coupons, you immediately think of these guys. These are the inserts that come in the Sunday newspaper. For years, the Sunday paper was our primary source for getting coupons. And let me tell you, the extreme couponers didn't just get one paper. They got several. The rule of thumb was to buy one paper per member of your household. So if you had five people in your household, you're supposed to get five papers. And that way you had five sets of inserts. So you could really stock up when a great deal would come along. This is what you always hear in the how to coupon videos. But I want to tell you, in 2023, not necessary. Um, this really doesn't work out anymore for a variety of reasons. And for starters, the newspaper, they have fewer coupons in these inserts than ever before. In fact, just this year in 2023, one of our longtime coupon inserts, Procter & Gamble, discontinued a 21-year run of the monthly coupon inserts that came out for their brand of items. So those coupons are no more coming in the paper. Additionally, we have seen several more brands stop putting coupons in these inserts, including General Mills and Kellogg's. More and more companies are moving to all digital options. Additionally, the Sunday paper has skyrocketed in price. Just in my area alone, the Sunday paper used to be $1.25, but now it's $3. By the time you buy enough papers for everyone in your household, this could add up quickly and honestly, quite frankly, not worth it. Finally, these coupons have more and more restrictions now than ever, meaning it's pretty much impossible to really stock up with numerous coupons like we used to. The majority of coupons limit one to two per household per day, and even if they don't have a posted limit, most stores have their own limits. So really, this makes the Sunday paper not even worth it to most couponers. I did a poll recently and 78% voted that they don't even bother getting the paper anymore. You totally don't need it to coupon anymore like we once did. Whereas many years, this was the foundation. You had to have the Sunday paper to coupon, but in 2023, you totally don't. So let's talk about where you find coupons now. And in 2023, it has never been easier to find coupons. And it's never been easier to use coupons. These stores have made it so much easier on us by developing digital coupons that can be used in their stores. If you've never heard of a digital coupon, simply you go to your favorite store's website or app, you make an account, you're gonna link that if you have a store loyalty card like a Kroger Plus card or a Walgreens card or whatever, you're gonna link it to that. And then at the register, you will enter your phone number or scan your loyalty card and the digital coupons come right off. It's like the easiest thing ever. Most stores have them, including Kroger, Meyer, Target, Dollar General, Walgreens, CVS, and even some smaller grocery stores have them. There's a little chain in my neck of the woods that only has like 10 stores and they actually have their own digital coupons as well. So it's really, really, really awesome. And the nice thing is each of these stores have their own programs. A lot of times the digital coupons are the same. So I could use one of the digital coupons at Kroger, one of them at Target, um, um, et cetera, et cetera, and it really comes in handy. Additionally, we do have free coupons that you can print online. Coupons.com has dozens of coupons you can print each week to redeem at their register. So you're gonna print it off, cut it out, 
take it up to the register and it'll come off. So it's not digital. You got to print it at home and physically take it to the store and have the cashier scan it. Um, but these are nice because they are totally free. Number one, just your printer ink and paper. Um, but many times these are identical to the coupons that we would get in these inserts. So, I mean, it's saving money instead of paying $3 for inserts. I can just print the coupons off online and it's really, really nice. Cool ways to find coupons, digitals. I love me some digitals and then the printables are nice as well for stores that maybe don't have digitals like Walmart. The best change I have seen over the years is that we've moved away from all of the mail-in rebates. Have any of you guys seen those where it would say, buy this product, mail in the receipt, blah, 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 fill out this big long form. How many of you guys would get the mail-in rebate form and just not end up going through all that hassle? Guilty as charged. Um, so rebate apps are like the best invention ever. And honestly, these are just as important as coupons. Like we get just as many deals, if not more, from the rebate apps than just coupons. So it is crazy awesome. Many times we get rebates for entirely free items, or in some cases we can combine a coupon and a rebate that can result in free items or even make us money. Like this is so, so, so cool. These are amazing. It's important to check each app and offer for restrictions before submitting for a rebate to see what their rules are. Each app is different and in some cases each offer is different, but a lot of times we can combine these and get some great deals. So there are several different rebate apps, but here's the ones I definitely recommend getting and that is Ibotta, Shopkick, Fetch Rewards, Swagbucks, and Shopmium. So those five apps for sure you're gonna wanna get. They're amazing, great apps. Each of these apps will give you cash back in either PayPal credits or gift cards and when, once you've done enough rebates to cash out. It's absolutely amazing and 100% necessary in couponing today. Many times, manufacturers actually have their own rebates directly on their websites, especially for a lot of health food brands and things like that. So if it's a brand you use, check out their website, see if they have a rebate offer. Really comes in handy with our couponing. Even though a lot has changed in couponing over the years, the same science of couponing holds true to this day. As couponers, we don't just use a coupon or a rebate just because we have it, but we wanna strategically use all of the available savings when we can get the absolute best deal. Many times this is gonna start with a store sale or a promotion. Let's say I have a $1 off a two coupon for General Mills cereal. Just say I walk in Kroger on a random day, not on sale, these are $3.99 a box. Use my dollar off two coupon, I paid $3.49 a box. Not really that great of a deal at all. Um, but strategic shopping, here's where this comes in. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till these go on sale. Kroger puts these on sale every few weeks for like $1.99 a box. So let's say they hit $1.99 a box. This is a deal that happened just a couple weeks ago. $1.99 a box. Now I'm saving $2 off just with the sale price. So buying two of them, that's $3.98. I'm already doing better than if I just would have bought one box. Okay, so $3.98 for two. I still have my dollar off two coupon drives it down to $2.98 for two or $1.49 each, and then dollar back on two on Ibotta, so a rebate. So we're waiting for the sale, the coupon, and the rebate. Getting these for 99 cents a box versus the regular price of $3.99. That is huge. That is a significant, significant savings, and that is how we do this. Other times, maybe we just have two rebate offers on a product that make for a great deal. So especially at stores like Walmart, where we don't necessarily see sales, sometimes having like two rebates really make for some great stuff. So for instance, we have a deal on Axe actually right now. Um, these Axe Fine Fragrance Deodorants at Walmart are $5.97. The Ibotta rebate app has a rebate for this guy for $3 back. And then there's another rebate app called Shopkick that's going to give me $2.08 cash back for this. So I'm getting back $5.08 on a product that's $5.97 makes this $0.89. Cents. Literally. Isn't that insane? Like $0.89 cents from $5.97. Do you guys see how these savings really add up? And this kind of stuff happens all the time. As a couponer, it is important to stock up when a good deal comes along. Just doing a deal here and there, yeah, it's great, but it's really not going to make a huge impact on your budget. That is why stocking up is really, really important. That is a principle of couponing that they've been preaching for like ever. That is still 100% valid today and necessary. So for instance, my family eats a lot of instant oatmeal. This Quaker oatmeal is over $3 a box and the store brand is like $1.67. So almost $2 a box. Recently, these went on sale after my coupons and rebates. I got these for 24 cents a box. If I just bought two boxes, I quickly would have run out and had to pay nearly $2 a box again when we needed it. 
we don't want that to happen. Sometimes sooner and sometimes later, but the general rule of thumb is that all sales and deals will cycle every six to eight weeks. So a Quaker deal may have come along six to eight weeks ago, and in six to eight weeks, it should come along again. Therefore, if you find a really great deal on something, you wanna buy enough to last you the next six to eight weeks to float you until it goes on sale again. That way you are never stuck paying full price. So you don't have to, you know, have a basement full of oatmeal, but okay, figure out, here's how much oatmeal my family is gonna use in the next six to eight weeks. I'm gonna buy enough to last me that long. You're probably wondering, Nick, I thought you said we couldn't stock up anymore. I thought the stores had limits and all that. You are correct. But many of these times, these apps actually make it really easy on us and do something called resets. A reset is when the offer comes back available for you to do again. So for instance, I did this Quaker deal on a Wednesday, 24 hours later on my Ibotta account, the rebate for this Quaker oatmeal came back. So I had a limit of five on Wednesday. I did my deal. Then I was able to go back in my account 24 hours later and it was there again for me to do five more times. So it really, really helps us to be able to stock up. And that way I was able to go back and do the deal again. And I did that a few times and was able to really stock up and get enough oatmeal to last us. That is really important. Stockpiling is key to couponing. You really got to stockpile to make this worthwhile. Um, but that rule of thumb is every six to eight weeks, a deal should come along. So stock up with that in mind. You don't have to go crazy, just enough to last you six to eight weeks. And finally, I want to really encourage you guys that you don't have to do all this work yourself with couponing. The best thing that has come in the world where we are now in 2023 with couponing is that you don't have to sit and do the hard work. Back in the day, like when I started this in 2014, there really wasn't a YouTube community. There was a few people here and there, but there was nothing like there is now where people did in-store videos showing all the deals and matchups and printable breakdowns and all that stuff. It just wasn't around. But now in 2023, there are countless YouTubers who actually make this their job to teach you guys the deals every week and share with you guys the deals at almost every store. I guarantee you, almost all the chain stores, somebody is doing videos for them every week. And that is so great. CVS, Dollar General, Kroger, Walmart, Target, Walgreens. Um, you name it, someone's on YouTube making a video about it. Almost everywhere. So all you have to do every week, you don't have to sit there and go through the ads and match up the coupons and the rebates and do all that hard work yourself. All you got to do is look up that video on YouTube, watch it, make your list. Oh, they shared this deal on the Quaker Oatmeal and they shared this deal on the Axe. I wanna do that. So write down your deal and you can go to the store and just do it. So leave the hard work to a YouTuber. Social media has been great for couponing because it allows people to share their deals so that other people can do them. It is such a blessing and really makes couponing a lot easier than it used to be. My channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. I focus on Walmart, Kroger, and Target every single week, sharing deals you can do with the rebate apps and digital coupons and all that fun stuff. There are YouTubers who do the drugstores. You can get great deals at the drugstores. Also like the Dollar General, places like that. So there are tons of people online. Just do a search of the store you want to shop at. So like Kroger couponing, you'll see videos pop up. I would encourage you to fact check, make sure that the deals are reputable. There are some people who are a little shady and break the rules. So you definitely want to double check that you're not doing that. Definitely um, keep that in mind, but it's awesome. And we take that hard work out of it for you. So in 2023, guys, you can totally still do extreme couponing. It's easier now than ever. You don't have to dedicate hours cutting coupons and hitting up the store and, and having an angry cashier who doesn't want to scan your dozen coupons. It is so much easier now with your smartphone, the store's websites and apps. Like there has never been a better time to coupon and there's never been more of an important time to coupon. Times are tough right now. Prices are ridiculous, but we are still getting things for free. I mean, guys, a $3 something box of oatmeal for 24 cents. That is huge. That is a huge savings. I could get 10 boxes of this for cheaper than one would even cost. Couponing is making this possible and it can be possible for you too. So guys, if you have any more questions, let me know. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you consider subscribing and thank you so, so much for watching.